Good day, folks. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Today we have with us uh, Hassan Raza. Uh, interesting enough, me and Hassan same the same alma mater uh, from uh, Sweden. We went to the same university to do our uh, masters in uh, electrical engineering from Linköping University. Uh, after that, uh, Hassan came out to Canada to pursue his PhD. Uh, and without having me to give any further introduction, so Hassan, if you can get started by telling us a little bit about yourself, how did you get to where you are right now? A little bit of a if you can walk us through. Assalamu alaikum, Saad bhai, and uh, all other viewers. So, uh, first of all, thanks to Saad bhai uh, to invite me here. And uh, yeah, so after uh, doing my uh, master's from Lee Shipping University, Sweden, uh, I went back to Pakistan and uh, spent there four years as an assistant professor in Sarsid University of Engineering Techno Technology, Karachi, Pakistan. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I applied for uh, the PhD admissions uh, in different universities worldwide, uh, in which I was uh, inducted in uh, Politecnico di Milano in Italy and uh, with uh, Erasmus Mundus scholarship. Uh, so I spent there uh, four years uh, and uh, during that time my uh, scholarship was expired and then uh, we have uh, uh, collaboration with uh, uh, Huawei. Uh, so I spent uh, three months in Huawei and do my uh, research work uh, over there. And from there, I have a patent uh, uh, for the, uh, that research. And the, we have, uh, uh, and that patent actually uh, is currently in use of uh, uh, Huawei modems, uh, if you have seen. So, uh, and on, on the basis of that, uh, I have got uh, uh, PhD in distinction. Uh, from uh, uh, from uh, Politecnico di Milano. Uh, during that period, uh, I have got uh, uh, the uh, uh, before that I have applied for the uh, citizenship for the immigration for the uh, Canada. And in 2014, uh, I have got uh, the immigration papers. Uh, so while I was doing my PhD, I came here and spent two months and got my PR and everything and go back to. Uh, Italy to uh, continue my PhD. Uh, once I have uh, uh, finished my PhD, my uh, PhD thesis was uh, sent to uh, University of Waterloo uh, for the review. Mm, and uh, uh, as I mentioned to you that uh, I got PhD in decision and the same reviewer actually uh, gave me an invitation uh, to join him uh, in his research group. Uh, after completion of my PhD in University of Waterloo as postdoctorate fellow. Uh, so in 2016, December 2016, I have finished my PhD. Uh, January 2017, I have uh, come back to uh, Canada and joined uh, University of Waterloo as postdoctorate fellow. Uh, there, I have also collaboration with Huawei and multiple projects and also NSERC. And then uh, I spent four years and I also have uh, one patent uh, there uh, with the University of uh, Waterloo mm, and after spending four years uh, I was uh, searching for my career uh, and unfortunately for the uh, here uh, the PhD uh, for the PhD the market is not very good uh, so I did uh, my uh, PMP uh, project management professional certification uh, and then uh, some other certification I have uh, completed and then I joined uh, the industry as uh, uh, while I was working in uh, with University of Waterloo, I also working as a consultant uh, with Rogers, with uh, Bell, uh, and for uh, for their five G deployment in all over Canada. Uh, so I uh, work in uh, British Columbia region, uh, Manitoba region, uh, region, and all uh, the other uh, Ontario region. So uh, the, uh, for uh, for this uh, regions, I have uh, implement the uh, strategy how to deploy the five uh, G commercially. Uh, so on the basis of that, uh, I got the opportunity after a few, uh, one year, I got an opportunity uh, as a uh, manager in uh, Carleton University uh, because they were actually uh, planning to establish a lab, a 5G uh, lab uh, for the cutting ed edge research in uh, North America. Uh, so uh, they have collaborated with uh, Ericsson. Uh, so they have hired me uh, for the project manager and manager is, uh, uh, for this uh, project and uh, currently I am working in uh, as a project manager and uh, also as an NSERC uh, developer. Uh, 
uh, for this project. We have uh, recently, uh, in 2021, 2022, we have established uh, 5G lab in Carlton University. And recently, uh, we have uh, input the uh, core 5G core. So we have right now a full in-house solution uh, for 5G uh, that includes the RF as well as the uh, 5G core. And uh, this is the first university in uh, North America who establishes uh, this setup. And currently, I am working uh, as a as a manager, and as well as I am supervising at least eight projects uh, who are working uh, who are utilizing this uh, lab uh, for their research. That includes uh, uh, 5G uh, time sensitive networks, uh, robotics, and drones, uh, and uh, uh, also the uh, localization because of uh, indoor localization project so these are uh, some of my so career. currently you are in a in a mix of an academic and a uh, exactly. professional kind of space so cardinal you are also uh, doing uh, supervising projects and you are in, associated in the industry as well yes exactly okay so uh, which one of the two do you prefer and which one do you think uh, has more uh, like does academics have a more a better future in your opinion or um, as a or in the more professional space uh, i think more professional space is uh, uh, much more better because uh, when i uh, deal uh, in phd as well as right now the main problem in the, uh, with the academia is that uh, they they have cut uh, their grounds with the uh, uh, with the professionalism and uh, when they for example if i want to uh, as a academy uh, and i if i want to publish some paper so that paper is uh, would be very theoretical and i have made a lot of assumptions in that paper that is not even realistic so uh, for example uh, for the indoor localization i assume the channel but that is channel uh, uh, wireless channel that we assume in the paper is not realistic so what uh, and uh, uh, and uh, thousands and thousands of paper have been published on daily basis but there is no use because uh, uh, when when you try to implement those papers uh, it is not realistic the environment is not realistic they have not uh, considered the real environment so that it is it is very important uh, and why i got uh, 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 my phd with this decision because uh, the whole channel model i have it go in uh, uh, in Huawei in China and uh, make the uh, characterization of uh, uh, that uh, channel that uh, uh, for, for which I am trying to implement my alg algorithms. So yeah. it is very very important that uh, you are you should be connected to the uh, real world. Otherwise, uh, you do do PhD, you can publish papers, but uh, a lot of theoretical stuff. Uh, but all uh, always okay. some. Interesting, uh, interesting yeah. perspective. But what what is a, a typical day currently like? Uh, what is your current? Um, how how do you stay busy? What's one day in the life of uh, Hassan these days? Uh, on the daily basis, uh, we have uh, uh, we have found different challenges uh, because I as I mentioned you, uh, when we establish the lab, this is the one perspective. Of course, you you need to uh, um, and the whole uh, establishment uh, includes uh, the procurement, the design, how you uh, how you configure all the equipment that includes the radio, router, firewalls, and uh, core. How you how you do uh, do that? Uh, that's a complete different uh, uh, story, and that that uh, led me with the uh, real world. But when we uh, are going to implement some use cases on that five uh, uh, G network. Uh, then uh, we are uh, facing different challenges. Uh, for example, uh, right now uh, 5G claims that uh, we can achieve two uh, millisecond latency, but we have restrictions uh, at the uh, at the radio uh, equipment. So how we can improve our net network so that we can achieve uh, uh, this uh, bottleneck, this uh, uh, low latency requirement? How we can manage? Uh, so what we need we need to change at the radio side. So this is a complete uh, cycle uh, that uh, we need to uh, work on. I got uh, requests from different uh, projects that, okay, we want to uh, set up this use case. And then I uh, plan the use case, how we can uh, test those use cases and uh, what parameters I need to change at the core side, what parameters I need to change at the uh, radio side. Uh, and what are, uh, of course, uh, there's some uh, uh, something related to our uh, use cases, uh, for example, uh, 
all the uh, algorithms uh, have been made or all the uh, applications have been made uh, so far for uh, for the common uh, operating system uh, but uh, the use cases that i am dealing with for example drone for the local localization uh, they are using uh, robot operating system ross which is the open source and there is no uh, standard uh, established uh, so far and there's a lot of challenges over there so on daily basis i am facing these challenges okay interesting interesting so i'm uh, i i almost know the last uh, answer to your la to my last question but i still ask anyway anybody who plans to pursue a phd uh, in canada and uh, like an academics uh, what would be your advice be to them uh, Okay, now come to Canada if you want to really work hard. Uh, so there, there are two types of PhD I have seen so far here. Uh, one is uh, those who just want to get the PhD and settle here uh, and got the uh, PR and immigration. Uh, but other uh, way of doing the PhD is to involve yourself in the PhD. Once you will be involved in your uh, research work, uh, then of course you will there, there are some hard problems here uh, but still you will be able to find some uh, very good uh, position in industry uh, and they really want uh, uh, some good people uh, who have some uh, industry experience as well so that that would be a uh, great for example i i'm telling you um, a simple uh, story uh, we uh, we have announced uh, the fellowship positions uh, uh, recently, uh, eight fellowship positions we have uh, announced from Ericsson. And those uh, fellowship uh, positions uh, uh, is based on the research that you will do some research. And at the end of uh, your fellowship, uh, if you are good enough, then uh, Ericsson will hire you. But unfortunately, we, we, will, we did not find a single person uh, from Canada to got those uh, fellowship positions. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, thank you, Asant, for uh, sharing your insights, and we appreciate uh, you sparing the time to talk about this. So, yeah, until next time, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Sadhvi.